Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, we're diving deep into the exciting new world of AI with Google's Pixel 9. Specifically, we're going to explore its groundbreaking Reimagine AI feature in Google Photos. But that's not all. We'll also show you how to bring this magic to your own Android phone, even if it's not a Pixel, so let's get started. Reimagine AI is a mind-blowing tool that lets you completely transform your photos with just a few taps. It's like having a personal photo editor with an infinite imagination. For instance, you can change the entire background of a photo, add elements like skies, or even adjust the lighting to create entirely new scenes. Let's try it out. I've got this photo. Now, watch this. I'm going to use Reimagine AI to change the entire background to a solid blue color. Isn't that cool? We've completely transformed the beach scene into a studio-like setting with just a few taps. Now, I know what you're thinking, I want this feature on my phone. Well, I've got some good news and some bad news. The bad news is that Reimagine AI is currently exclusive to the Pixel 9, but the good news is there's a way to trick your phone into thinking it's a Pixel 9 Pro. To do this, you'll need a rooted Android phone. Then, download a Pixel 9 Pro spoof zip file. There are plenty of resources online that can guide you on how to find and download this file safely. Once you have the zip file, install it using a tool like Magisk or Kernel SU. After that, reboot your phone and clear the data of your Google Photos app. I've tried this method on my Google Pixel 6 and it worked like a charm. However, I also tried it on a OnePlus 6T and unfortunately, it didn't work. So, there's no guarantee that it will work on every phone. Well, there you have it. We've explored the amazing Reimagine AI feature on the Pixel 9 and learned how to potentially bring it to your own Android device. Remember, rooting your phone can be risky, so proceed with caution. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more tech content, and let me know in the comments if you tried this method and if it worked for you. Thanks for watching.